morning guys, it's Adam here. Um, I hope you've all had a good morning. I hope you all had a good Tuesday night. Um, update for you on B Trade Signal Pro. I placed some trades this morning. I'm going to place a couple more trades in a minute. Um, first of all, we're going to have a look at my trade history, uh, the trades that I've opened and closed this morning. Yet again, we're 100% in the money. Um, this is down to the fact that I I close them manually, basically. So, um You've got a huge amount of control over this. I know there's a lot of people out there that are concerned, confused by um, by forex trading. It's really very simple and straightforward, and you also have a lot more control over it than you do with binary options. Um, those of you that prefer the short term trading, um, when you when you when you're placing short term trades, uh, for example, with the old well, I say the old IQ option. You can't use IQ option over in the EU at the moment. Uh, might be able to use it after Brexit. Who knows? Um, in the UK, anyway. Uh, but um, with the old sort of one minute trades that um, that you know used to be the used to be the big thing with binary options. There's there's so much um, sort, sort of opportunity for uh, a spike to take it out of the money and whatnot. There's, it's there's it, it's a gamble. It's basically what it is. Binary options. It's a it's a naught and a one. Um, it's had heads and tails. It's a toss of a coin. So um, just uh, just going to my closed trades. Um, as you can see, there are five in the money. Um, that one just seemed to be going nowhere. It was lingering about. Then we had three decent sized closes. Uh, I can't see brilliantly because of the screen. I have to tilt it up for the camera. 64, 99, and 74, and then that one for 42. Total of just under 300 quid. Um, as you can see, my balance is now over the 2000 mark and um, moving along very nicely. So, um, what I'm, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to place a couple of trades and um, then I shall update again later on the, the trades that I open and the trades that I close. Um, if I can, I'll try and actually record the where, where I close the trades. But um, it, ju it just depends on sort of, you know, the, the, the time span that I have and whether I can close two or three at once. Um, but yeah, like I say, the, the reason this is so profitable at the moment is because of the the way that I'm I'm trading with it because like I say I'm just I'm closing the trades manually I'm not setting the stop prop, uh, stop loss or take profit closing all the trades manually and um, it's you know I'm I'm cl closing them in the money like I say even that one there just at, at three quid if you did that ten times a day it's thirty quid um, I know it's not a huge amount and it's not a great way to trade because it means placing a lot of trades for a very small amount but the potential is there to make good money with this software. So um, if we just go back, um, we'll have a look. What have we got? Oh, some new trades just come in there. Euro USD. That's a long, there's about an hour expiry time on that. So we'll go Euro USD. Um, and I'm doing 0.25 volume in lot, guys. Um, that was a it was a call trade, I think it was, wasn't it? Um, Euro USD. Yeah, call trade. Um, not paying attention there. So click on buy. And like I say, I'm not setting the profit and loss. You can do. Um, if you want to leave it, if you leave in your computer, if you want to set profit and loss, that's that's fine. I'm not setting it because I can sit and watch. Um, so that's that one open, and um, we'll do another one. Uh, well, so we've got New Zealand dollar, US dollar, right underneath. That's another call trade. So, and that's at 0 0.25. These ones that are already set at 0 0.25, guys, you will find that as you're selecting the trades, uh, once you've traded on that particular asset, that particular currency pair, um, then you'll find that it will revert to whatever you set it to last time. So if you if you go in with something that you haven't used, I'll show you in a second. Just let me place this. Um, see if we can find one down here that I haven't used. 
Euro New Zealand dollar. That doesn't look too familiar. So if I click on that, what you should see is where it's where it says New Zealand dollar, US dollar volume in lot 0.25. That should change to the maximum or the, the full volume in lot of one one volume in lot, and you can change all these to whatever. But it's all dependent on your balance. Um, let's just go back to the New Zealand dollar, US dollar, which was where I was at. Um, so that's a couple of trades placed. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. And um, what I shall do, I shall come back later, like I say, and I'll um, I'll update as to where we are. I'm going to look for a couple more trades. But, as I say, if you want to take a look at software, guys, links are down below. Unfortunately, there's no demo with this, but there's tutorials on this video tutorial. It's very simple to use, um, and there's nothing that you need to worry too much about with it. Excuse me one second. Thought you could name a door. Um, nothing too much you need to worry about as far as huge risks are concerned. Like I say, because of how it's set, you can, uh, you, you, you've got a lot of control over the trades. You can close them. And if you see one that you think is dipping out of the money or not going to come back into the money, um, it's four or five quid out, ten quid out, then you can close it and cut your losses. Um, so it's, like I say, very, very simple to use. I'll be back on in a bit with some more videos, guys. But what I'll do, I'll update later on again with B-Trade Signal Pro. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, don't forget, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for updates. And if you want to take a look at the software, links are down below. Um, any questions, ping me an email. I'm going to catch up on all those now, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. See you soon. Take care.